Hello everyone and thanks for watching again. Another A Gorilla Travels adventure. In this episode we will be discovering the Morvan, a region in the Burgundy district, central France. And it's a region that's very dear to me on a personal level. And in this episode I will show you why. The Morvan Regional Natural Park is a protected area of woodlands, lakes and traditional farmland in the bourgogne franche comte region of central France. It covers a total area of 285,000 hectares, that's roughly 700,000 acres, and extends through four different departments, with the majority being in Nièvre. Through our friends Pete and Amy, who you've met in one of our previous episodes, we've rented this lovely house with a swimming pool. We stayed here for 8 days or so, accompanied by our close friends Robert and Milou, who you've also had the chance of meeting in several previous episodes. The Morvan is home to a few towns and cities that are worth visiting, including Dijon, Vézelay and Avalon. Autun also belongs on that list. It was an active and lively center even in Roman times and it's one of the most visited towns in Burgundy. The center of Autun is largely situated in the streets around the two large squares that are next to each other. One is dominated by Autun's theater and town hall on your right and the other by the impressive Lycée buildings on your left. The Cathedral of Saint Lazare is an impressive Roman style cathedral within the town walls, dating originally from the 12th century, although significant modifications were made in the following centuries, and the spire was added in the 16th century. The cathedral is above all famed for its carvings and sculptures. Outside there are statues by Gilles Le Bertu, one of the best of the Romanesque sculptors while inside you can see some attractively carved capital stones. In the area around the cathedral there are some pedestrianized streets with bars and restaurants if you are looking for somewhere to eat or drink. After our visit to Autun it was definitely time to go for a refreshing dive. Lac de Panachère is a man-made lake and the biggest of the Morvan lakes. It was constructed with one main purpose, namely to control the height of the water in the river Seine after a major flood that happened there in, the, in Paris in the 30s. And uh, next to that it has another function. Electricity is being produced by controlling the height of the water uh, going through a hydroelectric dam. For us it's mainly a great place to swim and it's popular both with tourists and locals. There's a couple of campsites uh, surrounding the lake and uh, I'm going in for a dip right now. Elske and I had to swim in turn 